Okay, here we've got Luke Skywalker on a Kubrick card. Um, so these Kubricks are like min li mini figures that you must have heard of them. They come from Japan. Uh, Kubrick Tommy, Medicom Toys, and they're quite short. They're about that half the size of a Star Wars figure. This is Luke Skywalker. This card recreates the original 12 back cards with the sort of similar sort of image of Luke Skywalker staring out to space, but I mean in, at the suns, but uh, using a Kubrick fit picture. Um, it says ages 13 and up, and it's claimed to be an unbreakable toy. Okay, so there's the front, here's the back. So it says Kubrick Unbreakable Star Wars to Art of Star Wars 24th of June Tuesday to 31st of August Sunday at Kyoto National Museum. I think this was 2003, I think, when this came out. Uh, let's see, it doesn't really say. It's got a hologram there, the Kubrick hologram plus the Tomy sticker and the a mixture of Japanese and English writing. It says, please read instructions before you play this product. This product for ages 13 up. Blister tray which fixes product and is attachment are just a buffer. Please cast them off. Also, please care not to cut and hurt your hand when you open blister package. The product has sharp parts. That is, that is unavoidable thing to express real model faithfully. Please pay attention to handling and custody of product, especially pay attention to small child handling. Keep under three year children away from the product, which has some very small parts, and there's a possibility of swallow up by mistake. Please do not stand product on, on stable position. Also like near heater, and like heater, heated room in car. There's a possibility of transforming of product. Okay, so obviously that's been translated terribly from Japanese into English, but it's quite hilarious. Okay, uh thing with this is I got it for a good price on eBay and then the postman it was sent in a package and the postman shoved it through the letter post letter box and it got jammed in the letter box and so it's got creased and mashed up. So you can see a big crease there. Um you know, so there's a big crease there now and a little crease up there. A little bit of sort of dinging on the side and here as well the card split a little bit so I got in contact with the seller said look man you shouldn't have sent it in a um, in a, a mailer package you should have sent it in a box because the postman shoved it through the letter box and it got stuck in the letter box and got squashed so he gave me a 10 quid off my he gave me a 10 pound refund which is okay I mean so I can live with that. I mean, it's cosmetic damage, but you know, you pay it, paying for a figure, and then it gets, you know, never send stuff in a in a envelope. Always, even if it's padded, cause the postman's going to shove it through the letterbox, and it's going to get mashed up. So you've got to always send it in a box. Uh, I like <laughs> I like doing mad wobble. I've got his, some stuff uh, sent in a package, and it got all mashed up. So he he did the same to when he was returning some stuff to, uh, you know, so that all got mashed up as well. So, never send stuff in a mailer bag, always send it in a box, otherwise it's going to get mashed up. Uh, that way, if it's in a box, the uh, postman, who's just doing his job, but you know, can be thoughtless at times, will shove it through the letterbox and it will get, you know, this is a card that's in better condition than it is now. It looks good now, but still, it was in an even better condition before. Now it's suffered damage. So let that be a warning to all people that send stuff in mailer bags. Don't. Just use a box. I know post postage is expensive and all that sort of stuff, but you know, such a headache going back onto eBay and trying to claim, you know, you know, it's just such a headache. You know, and it's not easy, even the seller has, has, has hassles as well, so you know, so, you know, the figure looks pretty good, it's sort of a Lego style figure, um, comes with a little blue lightsaber, and his classic sort of New Hope uh, Tatooine farm boy gear, the figure doesn't look too bad, 
Christmas. There's a variant with a brown hair that comes in the early bad bird Kubrick package as well. This is the yellow haired or orangey haired version. It's pretty good. Uh, the only other Kubricks I've got are the Imperial Gunner in the just a regular box and the rocket firing Boba Fett J slot prototype. You know, which is a chase figure. This is still a nice item. Luke Skywalker on a card. Most most Kubricks come in little boxes on a hillside. Okay, so there's your Kubrick. There's not many videos on YouTube about these things, so I don't know, but they're quite heavily collected and they're quite expensive. I mean, if you go for Ridden Planet, they're about a 10 hour time in their boxes, so you know, and they're still available, so you know. Um, if you like Lego, then maybe you like these figures as well. And if you like Star Wars, you'll definitely like these. But there's so much Star Wars stuff to collect, and you know, so. But this is something Japanese, something nice, something, you know, slightly weird because it's on the card. Luke Skywalker. Man, I hope this video works. I'm using my 16 meg card, so hopefully it's working. But if you want to get a Kubrick figure, just go eBay to type Kubrick. A lot of them seem to be coming from Hong Kong, so and they and they offer free posting. But I'm not, I'm not sure about Hong Kong whether it'd be a safe place to get stuff from. But you never know. Should be. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'd be. It shouldn't be held up in customs because it's going to be less than a tenner. So you know, not this figure, but other ones. So you know, Luke Skywalker, Kubrick, from the Kyoto Art Museum, National Museum, Art of Star Wars, 24th of June. Uh, I think it's from 2003. Okay, Luke Skywalker. Nice card, nice little figure. Okay, so it's your Japanese Kubrick Star Wars Luke Skywalker. It's the farm boy. Okay, Jim.